What makes OS unique? Early on in the What Makes Games Unique series, we looked at the DS rhythm game OS Tateke Oendan, or Elite Beat Agents. While doing research, we discovered a PC rhythm game that was created out of love for the series. Simply titled OS to pay homage to its heritage, it has become a very popular freeware title. Although it was built to celebrate the unique gameplay of the Oendan games, it has grown and matured into something all its own. What makes OS unique is how its input method didn't fully capture the same feeling as the original, leading to a community-driven framework that complemented and expanded on the original idea, making it feel much different from where it started. Although there are a handful of game modes, also based on other popular but underappreciated rhythm games, the main mode is OS, featuring the same fast-paced, methodical, but frustrating gameplay of the DS games. Now unless players had a touchscreen monitor, it didn't really feel the same. Clicking with the mouse just doesn't feel right and a tablet is still not physically touching the screen. Although this would have limited the market, the community slowly adopted a new way to play the game, with the help of the keyboard. Now instead of just left clicking, players can use their offhand to tap the Z and X keys to hit the notes. Because of this, the maps went from being designed for touchscreens and started being designed for this different control scheme. Having two keys allowed for players to alternate their fingers rapidly in order to tap at nearly double the speed. In light of this, the maps need to get progressively faster, featuring heavy techno and dubstep tracks that are actually much more playable now that players can accurately keep up with the tempo. The double tapping gave the tracks more variety as it made multiple consecutive taps much more manageable, and using a mouse or tablet for precision also allows slides and spins to be used to accent more sporadic and fast-paced movement. Watching high-level O's players is a sight to see as they keep up with intense, feverish songs, sometimes without even missing a note. OS took everything from its inspiration, with the fun tapping mechanics and the ability to fail in an instant if players fall out of rhythm, but as it began to grow and focus on community-made beat maps, the game went far beyond what it was originally trying to do. The change in input from a touchscreen to a tablet and keyboard showed just how an engine can be expanded upon and turned into something original, and doesn't even take away from the games that started it all. Although Keiichi Yano, the director of the Oendon games, has announced that he would love to make a new entry in the series, OS will continue to feel vastly different and mark to a crowd who yearn for far more than just the hardest difficulty. That is what makes OS unique. Before you go, be sure to check out OS at the link in the description. It's 100% free and with an active community and songs added daily for a variety of genres and difficulties. If you enjoyed this video, click that like button, and if you'd like to see more videos that discuss what makes any video game stand out, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.